What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is John. I'm a filmmaker slash creator. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about three things you need for storytelling. So stay tuned. So from thousands of movies that I have seen, documentaries, short films, YouTube videos, I mean, you name it, scripts that I have read over and over again, my own writing that I've read hundreds of times and paid subscriptions to learn from the greats, I have come to a really detailed conclusion about storytelling. A very simple way, if you're gonna present your stories, your writing to anyone, here are three simple things to take into consideration that are gonna help you be a clear story. Storyteller. And so for number one, it's going to be this. One word. I know it's that simple. One word is what you need to start off with your story. Now, I know you're probably a little confused about what I'm talking about with one word, but I'm going to clarify that for you right now. When it comes to one word, when you're telling a story to someone you want to make a movie for, per se, the one thing that you want to come in is telling the person or telling whoever you're in front what your movie is about. When you tell hundreds of people the same thing over and over again, you're going to get it. And this is one thing that I want you to skip and just be in front of the line ready to tell your story with one word. One word can be defined simply as an emotion, as human nature sort of thing. And it's simple like this, a movie about love, a movie about jealousy, a movie about envy. That is the one word that describes your entire movie, script, short story, documentary, whatever it is that you're trying to tell, it can all be narrowed down into one precise word. And if you can do that, you have a strong, powerful story ready to tell anyone because it's going to be directed to a foundation that connects with someone with that one word. Say for example, a red apple or just an apple, you start thinking about the colors of an apple, how an apple tastes, how an apple sounds when you just bite into it. It gives you a world of experience with that one word. So this is what you want to do when you start off a story or you're right at the end of writing your story. This one word will describe your entire movie. Now moving on to the second thing is this. One sentence. I know we're building and building and building upon this topic. So the reason why you want to not only have one word for your story and add a sentence to it is because you want to be able to elaborate more on your story. Say for example, you are on an elevator, right? You're going up and you need to pitch a story to someone. This is called the elevator pitch. You're on a building, you're going in the elevator, you need to go up to talk to the people. But at the time that you're going into the elevator, you see the person, the main person that you always want to talk to. He's the main person that you want to get your script to, right? Well, he's in a hurry. He's on the phone. There's no time. One word or a sentence is going to fit in the category to capture that compelling story to someone, right? <laughs> so what do you want to do? You want to be able to tell your story with one sentence. What is it about? It's about envy. What about the envy? What's well, about a brother who is envious of his brother? because of the love of the father. Simple. Or it can be something like it's a love story about a boy and a girl who have been in love since they were little and they lose their way and they come back. Anything like that. From the top of the head, you can think of a sentence, right? That can literally depict your story in a very simple way that is compelling. Something that just touches the main point of what your story is about. Now, moving on to the last point, which is one paragraph. Now, I know you know that I know where we're going with this. Now, the reason why you want to have a paragraph to describe your story is because now you get the chance to put it all together. 
Oh, that feels better. This is where you're in front of the people that you want to talk to and they're going to see your script or they're going to want to know your story, right? They don't want to even look at the script. You have your 120 some, 160 pages of a feature film, right? But they just want to hear a short paragraph of what your movie's about. And the reason why is because they're busy. They're there to create more movies after movies and they just want a compelling story that really captures their attention that they know, one, it's a good story that people are going to want to hear and people like to it's gonna make some money that's how simple the industry is per se right let's just say that but the reason why this paragraph is super important is because it gives you more direction of what your story is about the meat that comes with it in a very short pace think about it as a trailer or as for example the DVD when you would buy the store back then if you know what a DVD is right they would have a short summary even in books they have a short summary in the back of what the book the DVD or the movie is about right and they tell you you that it's about this so and so this is happening this is what's going to go on especially in trailers but with trailers you have more capability to put visual effects right and visual things that are happening within your movie and they tell you playing out a paragraph of what the story is going to be about so that you can have a interest and want to go see that movie in theaters or streaming so th think about the paragraph in this sense and it's going to help you tremendously Okay guys, so to summarize, we learned that there were three key ingredients when it comes to storytelling and make it more compelling. Now these are three things that you can practice on a daily basis and you can practice this with your family, your friends. Just go up to them or your family members and ask them, hey, can I tell you something? Can I share you with you my feature film or my script or something like that? And if you can say it to them with one word in a sentence or in a paragraph, you have a compelling story, a story that is built together and a foundation and ready to go. And you can do this in the business, you can do this in the film world, you can do this anywhere. If you use these three things to tell your story, you're going to have a very powerful story to tell. So I hope that this helps you out. And if you use this as your practice, as your technique, let me know how it helped you out and we'll see you next time. Peace.